Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. Please leave a like on the video, I'd really appreciate it. Also, my channel grown now to be showing you guys how to build a sliding door. Now, it is exactly what I mean. It is a sliding door. I went to the grocery store today and I was like, you know what? I want to make a sliding door because, you know, it had one of those things where you step on the black pad, it feels your weight, and it's the door slide, the glass door slides open, you go through it and close behind you. Well, that's exactly what this thing does. So, if I step on these plates right here, the door slides open and I can walk through and then it slides closed and that's all it does It's just a sliding door now. Here's an open view of it as you can see I click the pressure plate it slides open and then I let go and it slides closed and it does work in every direction I actually had it built in the other directions But I forgot to save it because it started raining and I just went I can't stand the rain So I turned it off and it accidentally deleted but it does work in every direction So let's just start building this thing right away all right, guys, so for this build, we're going to need a 12 by 3 spacing, and we're going to have to dig down at least two. So for this build, we're going to need 21 pieces of redstone dust, six sticky pistons, eight repeaters, four pistons, three torches, three half slabs, four pressure plates, four pieces of glass, and some blocks of our choice. We're going to put away the glass for now because we don't need it. And this is the exact stuff you're going to need. You're not going to need more. You're not going to need less. This is all you're going to need. So starting from the bottom left-hand side of our 12 by 3 spakes, and we're going to count over six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to make a, pretty much we're just going to make a three by two spacing of dust. So go up three and over one and two. There's our three by two of dust. And now we're going to take out our blocks of choice and put it all along the tops of that dust. This dust is just there to activate everything from our pressure plate so if i click a pressure plate as you can see the dust comes on now going towards the right side of our uh pressure plates <laughs> couldn't think of it we're going to put a repeater right next to where this pressure plate is and right here so if i click it as you can see the repeaters come on and then we're going to put dig down one more block and put two sticky pistons facing upwards with a block on top of them and then coming off this block we're going to put a repeater on two ticks of light and off this one, four ticks away, and that will create our monostable circuit. Now, I was trying to get this thing to work with just this one monostable circuit, but for some reason, the pulse was extended too long, and it would make the bottom one not work, and then when I extended it down, the top one wouldn't work, so I had to add a whole other monostable circuit for this thing to work for some reason. So, it, it kind of annoyed me a little bit. So, next, what we're going to do is two, two blocks in front of these repeaters with dust down on top of both of them, and we're going to put a block right in the middle of both these dusts. Next, coming off this block, we're going to come back towards our middle area, and we're going to put a repeater right here, set it to one tick delay, with a piece of dust in front of it, and a block up in front of it. This will make our bottom piston extend out to get that last glass block over here. Next, what we're going to do is come to the back side of this block, and we're going to put a torch here. The torch should be on. Put a block on top of the torch, a torch on top of the block. The torch will go off. Next, coming off this off torch, going back towards our pressure place, we're going to put a repeater, set it to two ticks delay, put a block on top of our off torch, and then right to the right of it, we're going to put another block with dust down on top of it. Next, we're going to come down a block right next to this two tick delay repeater and put dust next to it, and a block over one more and put a repeater here, set it to four ticks delay. And we're going to put a block up in front of that as well. So now we can actually stick in our double piston. So what we're going to do is put a sticky piston right below our two tick delay repeater and one right in front of it. And then do the same thing like that and get our double pistons in like that with our blocks of choice in front of them. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to have to get the signal up here to activate this top piston when it's fully out to extend that glass block over. So to do that, all we have to do is bring the current from where this dust is right here. So all you're going to have to do is put a half slab right here and then bring over your with just normal blocks here. But we're going to need a half slab right above this block as well. And I'll show you why. See, if we put a normal block here, it actually messes up the bottom piston. So this piston will not. Uh, this piston will not retract the rest of the piston so watch as you can see it gets broken so you have to put a half slab right above this block it has to be a half slab so now if i do it there we go it works perfectly so now we're done with this side so all we have to do now is put in this side which is 10 times easier. this thing's so easy to do so all we're going to do is take out our glass blocks now we're going to fill it up right where it's supposed to be and then we're going to click our pressure plates as you can see, it extends out over to there. And now all we have to do is use this as a marker to put the rest of it in. So we don't need our glass anymore. We're going to take two blocks of choice, put it right up behind it. And then we're going to come out three blocks from our blocks of choice. So one, two, three, delete these two blocks. And we're going to put normal pistons facing towards our blocks of choice like that. Now to get these activated, what we're going to do is come to the backhand side over here where all our pretty much pretty much where everything uh, activates our double piston extender. And we're going to come to this dust right here. We're going to bring the dust all the way down to here. Two blocks before the end where these pistons are. We're going to come up a block, up another block, put dust here, and a torch here. It will make the bottom piston extend out. 
put a block right above the on torch, it will make the top one extend out. Put one right next to it, then put a repeater coming out of this block set to one tick delay. You can see a repeater does come on because of the torch. Put a block up in front of it. Now, for some reason, it will work after not doing this, but sometimes it won't update the block. So you have to put a, a uh, I mean, um, yeah, you have to put a block of uh, half slab here. Because if you put a block here, as you can see, it cuts off the current, which we cannot have. So you're gonna have to put a half slab here. So what I like to do is just come over one more, stick my half slab in like this and then put the dust right here and it will activate the bottom. And that's it, you're done, that's it. You've just built the whole thing. So now if I click it, it opens up the door, walk out, and if, once we walk away, it closes the door. So now all you have to do is literally fill in this part right here because you don't want the, to see all the redstone. So right here and right here for your glass. This is just to fill in for the glass so you don't, so when it opens up, see, see how you can't see any redstone in there when you open it up? And then literally all you have to do is, you know, you just got to fill it in yourself. <laughs> it's not very hard to fill this thing in. Da, 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 da. It's only uh three wide. I say it's only two wide though, because it's over the ground. I tried to make it, uh, I tried to make it only two wide, but like I said, this right here, I don't know why it needs that extra monostable circuit. I really don't. I think it's because the bottom one is um extending out too fast, which is making the top lock, even though the half slab is here, is making it get uh, ruined for some reason. I, like I said, I can't tell you. <laughs> so there you guys go. That's how you build my slab lighting door if you enjoyed this video please leave it a like and subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos and i don't really think i need to show you guys how to make it more uh where you can't see anything you can actually bring it out too like this if you want to and then change all these blocks to white like that and then of course you would have to put the dust back right here and we can do it to this side as well so it does look even when you do this but yeah guys that's it all right guys peace you know what, let me just do it one more time. Oh, come on. hey, hey. And we'll put the floor in and... All right, let's do it. <laughs> Boop. Slides open and it slides... Ah! <laughs> it slides closed. All right, guys, peace.